Welcome back to Council Bluffs News. I'm Marie Zeitner. Joining me in studio today is Carla Borgela from the Squirrel Cage Jail. Thanks for being here, Carla. Well, thanks for having me here. We are going to be talking about Nightmare on Pearl Street. Go ahead and tell me what is oh. this event? Nightmare on Pearl Street is our annual annual fundraiser, Zombie Apocalypse Takeover of the Squirrel Cage Jail. So inmates like you've never seen them before. Um, and it's to help raise money for restorations. It'll still go towards our, our roof expenses. Um, we got the roof completely replaced this winter, but we didn't completely pay it off. So we still have to do that. And Nightmare on Pearl Street is the best way to do it. And Marie's going to look so nice wearing <laughs> this. So you have our lovely building on the front with the date on the back. Okay. And this does not glow in the dark, even though it, it is. Uh, it does not glow in the dark. It does not glow in the dark. Okay. Um, but you can pick up the shirts before the event for $15, wear it that night, and then you don't have to pay to get in. Otherwise, it's $5 to so get in. So if you wear the shirt, you it's, don't have to pay to get in. Yep. It's basically our pre-sale ticket. Okay. High tech. And it is at the Squirrel Cage Jail. So the Squirrel Cage Jail, 226 Pearl Street. Wonderful little building. <laughs> Incredible little jail. <laughs> and this is actually a very unique jail. It is. The, the men were housed in a three-story rotating cage, which to me is just a novel idea that we could spin guys around and decide which one we want to let out that day. Or, no, wait, that's not how it worked. But <laughs> <laughs> they did. They rotated around it and saved on manpower. Over the course of its use, it was a cost-effective jail, but when something went wrong, it was really expensive to fix. Wow, and so this is just, um, this event itself is helping the roof, which is a little bit damaged from this previous storm. A little bit damaged in the previous storm, but thankfully we opted for the full roof replacement with the warranty. So um, this this is going to be all taken care of, and it's a gorgeous new roof. You, it, it looks wonderful. They did an awesome job, especially working on it through the winter, so really excited to have it done and if it hadn't been done it would have been a lot worse during this storm so yes um, our event we have our staff comes down and dresses up but you know if it was just our staff it'd be kind of lame not that we aren't good <laughs> but the Omaha chapter of the National Zombie Research Society comes down and helps us out and Dr. Sanguinary and his crew come down and help us out so they're gonna so, be zombies waiting to scare everybody oh yeah mm -hmm. okay and, and you know i heard you wanted to make sure you were the first one to walk through oh yes yeah. <laughs> you know get we'll see about that <laughs> <laughs> we'll see we'll see i'm not one for zombies but no you can hang out out front with the information desk because they don't dress up either okay okay random people floating through the crowd do We'll, yeah. be, we'll be nice to you. Okay. The yeah. event is June 14th. June 14th, Saturday night, 6.30 to 9, or however long it takes us to get the line down, because last year there was there was a good line coming through. It's $5 a person, unless you're wearing the shirt, because um, that's your pre-sale ticket. And, of course, if you're a member of the Historical Society, it's free anyways. Um, but it is going to be a lot of fun. And it's Nightmare on Pearl Street. Nightmare on Pearl Street, too, a second coming. All right. Thank you, Carla, for being here. Well, thanks for having me.